Let's look at a chemical reaction in the gas phase. I'm going to take methane and burn it in oxygen. I'll take a fixed volume, one atmosphere of methane, two atmospheres of oxygen in a one liter flask. Constant high temperature. Let the reaction go to completion. What's the final total pressure? Does it increase, stay the same, or decrease? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, combustion reactions increase the pressure since they normally explode, so the pressure should be high. B, the balanced reaction shows all three liters consumed with three new liters produced. Or C, methane is the limiting reagent, and the amount of gas produced is limited, so it's lower than the start. Think about those three and make another selection. We're looking at the combustion of methane in a fixed volume. Here I've written the combustion reaction, and I've balanced the chemical reaction. A mole of methane, two moles of oxygen, produce a mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water, all in the gas phase. So if I take a mole of methane and react it with two moles of oxygen, those are in the appropriate stoichiometric ratio. So they will produce a mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water gas. So we'll have three moles of gas in the reagents and three moles of gas after the reaction goes to completion in the products. So three moles of gas on one side, three moles of gas on the other side under the same conditions of volume and temperature give us the same pressure. So the total pressure is the same after the reaction occurs. The correct answer here, B.